What's going on, smart people? I have not seen that whiteboard in a while. I am back in Virginia Beach. I'm trying to do that, still do the, like the daily upload stuff. I'll get the lighting and everything sorted out within the next couple of videos, I promise. I wasn't able to bring my actual light. It just didn't really fit in my suitcase. So I'll have to get a little bit innovative. But yesterday, final grades were due and I spent pretty much nine hours straight, every 10 minutes checking my phone, waiting to see if they were posted. At the end of the flight, when I finally got here, they were posted, so let's go ahead and see how I did. I already know, I'm not gonna not check my grades, but you guys don't. For those of you who are new, there's new people every day. I took three courses this semester. I took Math Methods of Physics, a Classical Mechanics, and a first semester course in Quantum Mechanics. It's a two-part course. Let's see how I did. Math methods, I got an A, which is, uh, I think that's pretty reasonable. It wasn't that hard of a course. I think the homeworks took long, but they all did, and the exams were easier than all of the other classes. Classical mechanics, I got a B. I'll address that in a second. And quantum mechanics, I got an A. Overall, I'm pretty content with how I did this semester. Everything was extremely challenging for me. Nothing was just a walk in the park, and that especially goes for the final exams. Because of the final exams, I expected to walk away this semester. I didn't say it in the videos, but in my heart, I was like, I am going to get all B's this semester. How the hell am I going to stand out with this grad school application? But now that I know that I walked away with two A's, I'm feeling much more confident. Here's the deal. A B is nothing to brag about. I mean, it's, it's doing slightly above average at something I'm supposed to be well above average at. So I'm not like particularly proud of it. But the thing is, is I really struggled with classical mechanics. It was a really tough class for me. Uh, and a B, I think, is something that I earned. I don't think I had really A-level knowledge of the class. I mean, it's an advanced classical mechanics course, and it was a class I really struggled with in undergrad. And I think I got like a C-plus in my undergrad classical mechanics course. So to translate from that into, you know, a B in a graduate course, it's it's some kind of win. I wish I would have gotten an A. What I think is more important is the two classes that I got A's in are taught by professors who research what I'm interested in. So I think that'll at least help me stand out a little bit because I'm at least succeeding and maybe impressing them a little bit by getting A's in their courses. So there is at least some light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, overall, I think I, I think I came out pretty strong. I got two A's in graduate courses. A B is still not a bad grade. It's just not an A, you know what I mean? Uh, I think the point of me moving to New Mexico to take these courses is to show at the school itself, I'm capable of succeeding in these classes. Let me show you. And I think I did that. I think it was a really tough semester. It wasn't as, I didn't expect it to be easy, but I didn't expect it to be this challenging. But that's really all I wanted to say today. Uh, it's a quick video. I'm gonna go spend time with family. Hope everyone is having a great December 12th. Let me know in the comment section how you think you'll make out with your final grades. And I'll see you guys there.